Welcome everyone and those on the live feed and a special welcome back to Pastor Steve and Brandy. We missed you. The newscast for Minnesota, for Minnesota started the evening with this breaking news. Minnesota's worst air disaster occurred earlier today when a Cessna 152, a small two-seater plane, crashed into a Norwegian cemetery here early this morning. Sven and Ole, working as search and rescue workers, have recovered 826 bodies so far and expect that number to climb as digging continues into the night. No fly today because the pastor's preaching in Rantoul and no nap shepherding tomorrow and sign up for the golf outing uh, June 10th is at 3 p.m. is when they start and the TV in the parish hall in the room in the back is working so if you have to be out of here you'll be able to go in there and see it and hear it thanks to Tracy uh, housing is still needed for two girls for the AFLBS Vacation Bible School team, uh, and which is also in July, right? Yeah. Okay. And uh, I have a card here. I'll post it on the bulletin board from the Ark, which says, "Thank you for your generous gift. You are truly a partner." in this ministry. So if you want to read this, it, it'll be on the bulletin board. Pastor Steve. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I wanted to say thank you for your prayers and, oh yeah, I forgot my, I forgot my mic. Uh, for your prayers for this last week as we were uh, on the road. So how this worked, just so you guys are aware of what happened, was um, after I became a Christian when I was 18, uh, the pastor that I had, my very first pastor, um, became more like a father to me. And his younger son, middle son, was the same age as me, and he became my best friend. It was his oldest daughter who passed away. She had had breast cancer for six years, and they thought that she had beat it, and it had been gone and taken care of. And then, um, I don't know if it was one or two years in that six years, and then it came back, and it came back very terribly um, in her bones, brain, all over, and that's and she ended up passing from that. And so um, my, my really good friend was really happy and thankful that we were able to be there. So I thank you guys for enduring through that time of, and in a sense, allowing me to go, I didn't really ask, I just took off. But uh, thank you very much for your prayers and things like that on that line. Uh, we do have some guests today. They probably wouldn't want me to call them out, but just so you're aware of them, the new faces here. This is Buddy Erickson and his wife, Debbie Erickson. They are uh, the parents of Jeremy Erickson, who had done a lot of music over the years for the different fly conventions. Um, but they are here. They are uh, from Roseau, and they're just passing through. So we got to see them this morning, and so that was great. So... If you see them, you know who they are, and you can introduce yourself to them as well later on. Um, any other announcements that need to be made? We will begin our service this morning in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And uh, we will call on the priest team at this time to get us started. So. Please rise.
come together before the holy throne of God and in his altar today, we are reminded of our need for grace and the sin that we have. So let us join together, bow before the Lord, and confess with our hearts our sins. Almighty God, our maker and redeemer, we poor sinners confess to you that we are by nature sinful and unclean, and that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. Therefore, we flee for refuge to your infinite mercy and ask you for Christ's sake, grant us forgiveness of all our sins. And by your Holy Spirit, increase in us true knowledge of you and of your will and true obedience to your word, to the end that by your grace we may come to eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
hear the declaration of grace today, if this be your sincere confession and if with penitent hearts you earnestly desire the forgiveness of your sins, for the sake of Jesus Christ, God, who according to his promise forgives you all your sins, and by the authority of God's word and by the command of our Lord Jesus Christ, I declare to you that God, through his grace, has forgiven all your sins. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. And we'll call on our scripture reader this morning. The uh, Old Testament lesson is from Genesis 11, 1 through 9. Now the whole earth had one language and the same words. And as people migrated from the east, they found a plain in the land of Shear and settled there. And they said to one another, Come, let us make bricks and burn them thoroughly. And they made brick for stone and boom for mortar. Then they said, Come, let us build ourselves a city and a tower with its top in the heavens, and let us make a name for ourselves, lest we be dispersed over the face of the whole earth. And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower, which the children of man had built. And the Lord said, Behold, they are one people, and they have all one language, and this is only the beginning of what they will do. And nothing that they propose to do will now be impossible for them. Come, let us go down there, confuse their language, so that they will not understand one another's speech. So the Lord dispersed them from there over the face of all the earth, and they left off building the city. Therefore its name was called Babel, because there the Lord confused the language of all the earth, and from there the Lord dispersed them over the face of all the earth. <clears throat> The New Testament lesson is Acts 2, 1 through 24. When the day of Pentecost arrived, they were all together in one place, and suddenly there came from heaven a sound like a mighty rushing wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting, and divided tongue, tongues as of fire appeared to them and rested on each of them. And they were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Now they were dwelling in Jerusalem, Jews, devout men from every nation under heaven. And at this sound, the multitude came together and they were bewildered because each one was hearing them speak in, in his own language. And they were amazed and astonished, saying, not all of these who are speaking Galileans. And how is it that we hear each of us in his own native language? Parthians, Medes, El Elements, and residents of Mesopotamia, Judea, Capernaus, Pontus, and Asia, Pygia, and Papa. I hope I got this halfway close. <laughs> yeah, them guys do. Egypt and the parts of Libya belonging to Syrian and visitors from Rome, both Jews and pro... <laughs> yeah, them guys do. Cretans and Arabians, we hear them telling in our own tongue the mighty works of God. And all were amazed and perplexed, saying to one another, what does this mean? But others mock, mocking said, they are filled with new wine. But Peter, standing with the eleven, <coughs> lifted up his voice and addressed them. Men of Judea, all who dwell in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and give ear to my words. For these people are not drunk as you suppose, since it is only the third hour of the day. But this is what was uttered. De declares that I will pour out my spirit on all the flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Even on my male servants and female servants in those days I will pour out my spirit, 
and they shall prophesy. And I will show wonders in heavens above and signs on earth below, blood and fire and vapor and smoke. The sun shall be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the day of the Lord comes, the great and magnificent day. And it shall come to pass that everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Please rise for the reading of the gospel. The gospel text today comes from John chapter 14, it's verses 23 through 31. And Jesus answered him, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and will come to him and make our home with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words, and the word that you hear is not mine, but the Father who sent me. These things that I have spoken to you while I am still with you, but the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and bring to you remembrance of all that I have said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let, no, let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. You have heard me to say, I am going away and I will come to you. If you love me, you would have rejected rejoiced because I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you before uh, it takes place, so that when it does take place, you may believe. I will no longer talk much with you, for the ruler of this world is coming. He has no claim on me, but I do as the Father has commanded me, so that the world may know that I love the Father. Rise, let us go from here. Here ends the reading of the Gospel text. seated and we'll call on the children to the children's message. Did anybody remember to bring the red bag by chance? Oh yeah, good one. I was worried about it. I wasn't sure. Did he bring it last week? No, he didn't. He, he, oh, perfect. I was worried that they were going to bring it and then they just weren't going to do it and then One thing to say really quick. Where in the world did you come from? You notice how she just like walks through here like she's the boss? That's typical. So before we start, I want to say one thing really quick. Okay, so there's always, well, there's normally always candy after the service, right, for you in the office. Everybody pay attention. Over there, you two, on the end, pay attention. So this time when you go to the office, it's going to be locked. Okay, and Kai is going to come and unlock the door, and she's going to be the candy moderator from now on because everybody's taking, not everybody, probably my children, are taking more candy than they're supposed to. So you get one piece of candy, okay, and you wait in a single file line, and then Kai will open the door, okay? So we're not going to just, you can run down there, but you got to wait in line, okay? Sound good? By the way, your bows are beautiful. Okay, what do we got in here today? 
Ooh, this is a good one. This is a good one. Yeah, it is. Does anybody know what kind of airplane this is? Is this a... Does anybody else know? I thought I knew, but I don't... I'm not sure. Is this a P-52? No? P-51? Thank you. Yeah, that's a... You're right, a B-52 is a bomber. I'm thinking P, but I don't remember... Mustang? Is it called a Mustang? Right? Yeah, Mustang. Okay. So these things were like the baddest planes in the sky of their day, all right? These things were able to to fly faster and maneuver better than most other aircraft. So these are the, the best of the best. How many of you like to have the best of the best? Yeah. You, how many of you like to have the junky stuff? What? You raise your hand. You're like, whatever. Okay, well, that's a good, that's a good thing. Okay, but so when it comes to, to fighting, if you were going to be in the air and you were going to have to fight against other people, would you want to have the best that you could have? Yeah. So in our life, every day, we come into contact with spiritual warfare, not the stuff that we see with our eyes, but the things that happens behind the scene in the spiritual place. Did you know that, that even Jesus had to fight that spiritual battle behind the scenes when he was alive? He faced Satan. Do you guys remember when he was in the desert for 40 days, he faced Satan? So if we're going to have the best of the best... We have, to fight some, we have to fight with the best. And what's the best? What is today? Does anybody know what today is a special day? No. No. Starts with a P. The day of? Hey, can you put that first screen back on there? Okay, so I want you guys to take a look at this picture, okay? This is really cool. This will tell you what day it is. Okay? This is a, what? It's leaf day? No, it's not leaf day. What does that look like? It looks, it looks like a dove. You see how it looks like a dove? That is the Pentecost lily. Is that what you call it? Pentecost orchid, okay? And guess what? That flower only grows in Panama, and it only blooms on Pentecost. Do you guys know what Pentecost is? Today's the day of Pentecost. It's the day that the Holy Spirit was poured out onto the believers in Jerusalem. What a crazy day. And what leads and guides us? We have the word of God, but what leads and guides us to and gives us power as we go through our life? Faith, but it's faith in God, but then also something is going to come and help us. We just read it in the scripture. It's the Holy Spirit. So you guys have this like really cool Mustang uh, P-51 fighter jet inside of you that can help you fight spiritual batters. And what we have to do is we have to remember that we have it. Who was it given by? Who gave it to us? Jesus. Jesus. Yes, God. Okay, good job. I'm losing you. Hands out. Hands out. Hands out. Hands together. Dear Heavenly Lord, we thank you for the fact that you did not leave us alone, but you sent your helper. That even now we still have that promise today. That there is power and strength, not only in your word, Lord, but in your spirit, which dwells within us. So, Lord, and Holy Spirit, live through us. In your holy name, amen. All right, you guys can go have a seat. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, we got to give it out, don't we? Give it out, give it out. Yeah, that's a good one. Right over here. My kids never get it. <laughs> All right, go have a seat. Here you go, bud. Thank you. Good job. All right, so we're going to be doing our message now. And uh, how many of you, how many of you ever bite off more than you can chew? Right? I'm not going to say that about having nine kids because you grow, you grow in it, right? Some people say, man, I don't know how you guys do it. Well, we didn't do it because we all of a sudden had nine kids. We do it because they, you have one and then you have another one and you grow in it and, and, and you're able to handle that. However, not every day do you grow in building a 